Um, we're going to make an addendum here to the first part of the elasticity lecture that focuses on total revenue because I want to go through an example of how the total revenue test is used. So, for example, let's say that at the price of $15, five units could be sold of the product. Um, people would buy five units. And um, at a new price of $10, six units will be sold. Now we know this makes sense because of the law of demand. If the price drops, the quantity demanded will increase. Um, but again, elasticity looks at, you know, how much will the quantity demanded increase? Will it increase enough with that price drop to make the price drop worth it to the producer? So using the total revenue test, what we do then is we calculate total revenue at the original price and at the new price. So let's go ahead and do that. Total revenue at the original price of $15. Um, total revenue is price times quantity sold. So 15 times five is $75. And total revenue at the new price of $10 would be 10 times six or $60. Um, so what this shows us is when the price drops from 15 to $10 from the old price to the new price, total revenue decreases, which shows us that buyers are not very responsive to that price change. Of course, more units are sold, but not enough more units to make this price drop worth it to producers. So since consumers are not responsive to that price change, we can see that demand's inelastic. All right, so when price decreases and total revenue decreases, demand is inelastic. So this example proves that. That's that's as easy as it is um, to apply the total revenue test. All right, and that's it.